guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a really quick swatch video of the new ColourPop X My Little Pony palette. Now I already filmed this video once before I redid my makeup because we are going out to dinner and I have a feeling I don't look the best in that video so I'm going to go ahead and quickly refilm these swatches for you guys. Also if you're curious on what I have on my eyes today, it is actually the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. I can't remember which one, but it's this beautiful, crazy duochrome shade. So I do have a swatch video of this palette. I will go ahead and link it up in the cards if you guys are interested in that. But I will have a full review on that palette soon for you guys. I just wanted to let you know what I was wearing on my eyes because a lot of people have been asking me to mention what makeup I'm wearing in my videos in the description box. And most of the time I do forget because sometimes I film a bunch of videos and then I don't get to editing them for a couple of weeks so I, I usually do forget. So it's a Pat McGrath eyeshadow. My foundation is the NARS Sheer Glow and I'm wearing a Huda Beauty liquid lipstick on my lips. So hopefully that's helpful. Now if you are new to my channel, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe down below. I usually upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me. And I love to make swatch videos because I feel like there aren't enough swatches in this world, especially if you are a brown girl like me. So I thought I'd go ahead and swatch this palette for you guys really quick. Now I did order the palettes the day they launched and I just received them so that's a pretty good turnaround time. This is what the box looks like. It's super duper cute and I also did get a sticker sheet which I'm really pumped about because I didn't know if that was like a PR thing but hey. Who doesn't love stickers, you know what I mean? And then this is what the outer packaging on the palette looks like. This is the back. I love these shades. It's so pretty. It actually looks a lot like my thumbnails. I use like a watercolor print, so that's kind of funny. But anyway, gorgeous palette, gorgeous packaging. And then this is what all the shades look like. Now, like I said, I already swatched these, but I'm going to swatch them again for you. I'm a little bit confused on the names because ColourPop never seems to name shades like what they look like. So there's a shade called Minty that doesn't look anything like the shade Minty. And this first shade is called Bluebell. Then we have Starshine, we have Blossom, and we have Butterscotch. So let me go ahead and swatch those here. I really love the two shimmer shades in the middle. I think those are gonna be beautiful lid shades going into fall and winter time. Now, if I had to pick a favorite row in this palette, I would definitely say row number two is my favorite. Those are shades I've really been into these days. So of course, it's like the purpley pink row. I can just see these pink shades in my crease and I'm so flipping excited for that. So these are the finger swatches of these four shades. Let me go ahead and swatch them on my arm for you guys. These are so girly and like totally reminds me of My Little Pony. I think they did a really good job capturing the essence of the brand. And I love that they use the vintage ponies because that's what I grew up on is the vintage ponies. And I think the new ponies are kind of freaky looking. So give this video a like if you guys agree with me that the new ponies are freaky as F. So this first shade is called Flutterby, which is that pretty pink shade, the matte shade. Then we have Minty. It's this lilac shade, so it's really strange that it's called Minty. Then we have Sky Dancer, which is a really beautiful rosy pink shade. And then the last shade is Applejack, which is a beautiful peach shade. And I think that's going to be so, so wonderful in the crease. I can't wait to put it there. Now, if I had to pick a least favorite row, it's going to be this last one because you guys know I don't really wear a lot of like blues on my eyes. I don't know why. I'm trying to push myself to be more out of the box and stuff like that. As you can tell from this eyeshadow look, I'm trying to incorporate more color, etc, etc. So here are the finger swatches. Okay, so these are the last four shades and I'm just going to go ahead and swatch them right here. This shade is kind of strange. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be like a deep purple shade, but it almost swatches like a brown. I can't quite tell what they were going for with that. Now that last blue shade is gorgeous, definitely pigmented and buttery. So let me tell you guys the shade names really quick. So this first shade is called Princess Sparkle. Then we have Snuzzle, we have Firefly, and then the last shade is Twilight. So really, really pretty shades all around. I think 
ColourPop nailed it as always. You guys know I'm a huge fan of these palettes. They're only 16 bucks. If you are a child of the 80s, like I am, well, late 80s, but still, it counts, okay? I grew up watching My Little Pony. I think this is gonna be an awesome gift for yourself or for a friend. So if you had somebody that you used to watch My Little Pony with or you have a friend that loves My Little Pony, I think this whole collection is a definite must have. I will go ahead and demo and review this for you guys more fully soon. Please be patient with me guys. I can't even keep up right now with my reviews. I have so many palettes I need to test and review and I don't like to just throw something up without testing the palette fully which is why I like to do swatch videos just so you guys have an idea at least of how the swatches you know show up on my skin tone if you have a similar skin tone to me anyway that's everything I wanted to talk about with you guys let me know if you are planning on picking this collection up or if you already did I would love to hear your thoughts on this palette and this collection I didn't buy anything else from the collection because I have enough Super Shock shadows to last me a lifetime. I'm on a highlighter, no buy, and honestly, I'm not really a big lip junkie. A majority of my collection is eyeshadow palettes, and I like it that way. So yeah, I was just drawn to the eyeshadow palettes, and that's why I bought them. But uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, and have a good day. Bye!